And welcome back into Tranchy Basketball with head coach Brian Lane. I'm Dave Baker, uh, sitting in for the non-sleeping Drew Diener. Do not adjust your uh, your TV set, man. It's a cameo. That's. I mean, I'd do it for you. I, I, I appreciate it because I know you've had a busy weekend. I mean, Florida yesterday you did the Florida game, and then you're mm -hmm. out of here and and just what two and a half hours you're going to be doing the Arkansas mm -hmm. game. So that's that's pretty good. But but the thing it's about it, the, the the thing I want to talk to you about though is that whole Lane family coaching tree. Because, you know, you and your dad are always pretty calm. But the Twins were playing soccer last week, and Angie was coaching on the other team. And, I mean, I thought she was going to come over the boards she, at the indoor place. She is uh, She's very excited. That That's a branch of the family tree. Branch of the family? Yeah, and that's a branch of the coaching tree that uh, I guess she hasn't gotten the ins and outs. I mean, and, she's uh, hitting on those boards yeah. and everything. I thought I was watching Slapshot or something. She needs her own show. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, your show's been pretty good. Uh, you got to be pleased with where you are as you start the conference portion of the season. We are. Uh, you know, coming through the, the after Christmas, we, we knew we were in a funk and, and went to work and, and to the guys' credit. I mean, they've, they've really performed uh, really, really well coming into the conference schedule, 2-0. Sure. Uh, made it made a good trip up to Indiana with the Rose Holman and then uh, a good win at Frank uh, against Franklin on Wednesday. Talk if you would about that. People don't understand. It doesn't make any difference what level of basketball you're playing. That's a tough time. I mean, everybody's getting two, three weeks off for Christmas. They're around family and friends. They're goofing off. They're not hitting in the classroom. And you bring your guys back like every other coach. There's no 20-hour rule in place, and it's nothing but basketball on a campus that, for the most part, is deserted. Right. And uh, the the good thing about Trancy is, you know, you're only three three blocks away. From from a lot of uh, a lot of excitement and, and a lot of, a lot of uh, excitement. Yeah, all all you the time. You just cut them loose, right? That's absolutely, especially over the holidays. So. Wow, the benevolent dictator. Yeah, actually, what well, what we do and and we probably did more this year on the court video and and just trying to get our minds right because sure. you know we. we this schedule was a tough one, and, and we've lost four games to all really good teams. Mm -hmm. You know, top of the top of the league teams, and um, I think that that hurt our confidence a little bit at uh, you know going into it. But but we came back, and the, the attitudes have been great. You know, a couple of the guys that we really need to be leaders have, have taken control of of what needs to happen, and we're practicing harder, and it's translating into success on the court. And anytime you have that. You know, that, that's Pretty what it's stuff. all about. Yeah. All right. Uh, you talked about that uh, Rose Holman game. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, highlights as the Pioneers taking on Rose Holman. And talk a little bit about the matchup, your thoughts coming in. Going in, uh, anytime you go on the road in the Heartland Conference, it's always going to be a difficult uh, difficult game. They they have a style of play where defensively you, you end up in a pretty good uh Pretty good team. They they get out on the on their perimeter shooter, so you've got to be able to to adjust and, and do some things. And and you can see we're we're getting the ball inside. We're we're, we're driving to the basket. Uh, hit a couple big threes to, to get us going. Matthew Parton hit a three. And uh, and you talk about that penetration. I mean, from a coaching standpoint, you know it. You try to impart it to your kids. It's that penetration that sets up the real good look for the three. It does. And, and it's become an integral part of our offense this year. I mean, the, the penetration. We've got three guards a lot of times in the game. And, and what we're really good at, good at is the penetration and the kick. But that next drive and kick. Is, is where we're getting a lot of and our what buckets. you want to do it is you want to do it quickly because then guys are chasing and you find absolutely. the open spot absolutely and, and we end up with some mismatches with with the big guys uh, big guys guarding our smalls and and we have to compensate for it on the other end and obviously you, and you talked about the way that your guys had performed coming back from the Christmas break this the first conference game after the Christmas break the feeling you got from them in practice obviously carried over to the game it, it was and we we were up 13 at, at the half and, and got up as many as 17. Uh, I thought the the one disappointing thing that, that happened, we we kind of laid down a little bit in, in the second half and, and did not keep our intensity. They cut it all the way back to one. And uh, and then Blake McCowan hit hit three or uh, hit two big free throws right there with seven seconds left. And, and then we did a nice job. We, we went to any time it's a late game situation and we've got the, the other team's trying to, to score on the other end less than seven seconds. We'll go to a, a, our 2-2-1 mm -hmm. uh, zone press and really try to slow them up, and, and it worked effectively again. We, but we learned that lesson from another another time where we went man to man and they gave up a three. That's why they call it a learning experience. That's right. Uh, all right, so big win for the Pioneers. Uh, we'll talk about the contest against Franklin. That and much more. We're just getting going. Glad you're here with us on Transylvania Basketball with Brian Lane.
going to guess. Larry Kopsik. Don't don't tell me. But that's I'm just going to guess. guess. I'm just going to guess. Ron Whitson had it for a while. That's exactly right. Yeah, that's exactly right. Welcome back into Transylvania Basketball with uh, Brian Lane. Dave Baker in for Drew Diener. Um, before we get to the highlights of Frank, Diener has just got to, he's got to up it a little bit. I mean, you it, know, he's got one kid. It's tough. And he's talking about sleep, and we've got like 20 between us. Well, he's the first, he's the first male that ever had a, had a kid. I think it's the it, it, it first, <laughs> first is, one, right? That is so not right. It, it's, it's the first one, so <laughs> he is, needs to take some time off, and, is, and he's going to be back, and he's so going to be better than wow. uh, he's going to be back and better than ever. Wow, Jan, bless her heart. I mean. That's her heart. She picked him. I mean, you know, well, was, I mean, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're right. All right, You're let's right. take a look at highlights uh, as the Pioneers take on uh, Franklin College earlier this week. This was a this was a team that won the conference tournament last year and, and hosted the, uh, the the tournament. Uh, we usually play pretty well against against Franklin. There you see uh, Verax with an early early score and it's a team that really gets out uh, out pressures you. There's there's half. We had to go the length of the court in five seconds there at the end of the half and, and got that in. Good lob to Blake McCowan by uh, by Matt Parton. They uh, that they are a smaller team. I mean they they end up with four guards in the uh, in the lineup a lot. Uh, we were concerned with their dribble penetration. Uh, Tim Tierney there with a good good pull up and Tim Tim gave us a, a big lift. He played a lot of a lot of minutes in this game and and actually had to, had to come out. Brock Jones uh, really stepped up as well. He had 20 points. This, that was a career high for him. But again, you see penetration from from them, and, and, and you that, don't like to see it on the baseline like that. You don't. You don't. And uh, the Franklin is, is well coached. Kerry Prather uh, just a few few away from 400, and uh, great great drive there by Tim. He, he drew two guys to him, and, and then a little drop off to to Brock Jones. Just what you were talking about in the last segment. Yes, and and we're we're pretty good at it, and. Uh, one of the things that Franklin does, they in in 11 games they had only given up 88 three attempts, really? uh, and we're you know we're averaging over over 10 threes made a game. So uh, we, you see us driving here a lot more than than we normally do. But and, that's good recognition but, on the part of your team, knowing it, knowing what they're going to give you and taking advantage it of it. It was good, and and also they're good listeners because that was the plan, and uh, we we practiced it for for two or, two or three days, just a lot of driving to the basket and finishing. It's one thing to drive it in there, uh, yeah. but, but you got to finish and, and also find the open man right there, Brock Jones. Again, 20, 20 big points for us off the bench. You know, Brian, not only an understanding of the system, but I think folks that see this video uh, can see uh, the results of your individual instruction that takes place. You know, your guys all with uh, good ball skills. They can put it on the deck. Uh, they understand when a shot's there and what they have to do to create one. It is, and uh, you know, see the good put back there by, by Verax. Uh, the play before you saw Matthew Martin with a good penetration and kick to Brock Jones. Anytime teams are really pressuring you out on the floor, you've got to be able to break them down off the dribble. And uh, we do individual instruction uh, twice a week, even on, on days that we don't have games. And again, good penetration, the, the assist. Tim had, uh, Tim had six assists in this game with no turnovers and played 37 minutes. So if you have a point guard doing that, but it makes a makes the coach's job a whole lot easier. A week like that, where you get those two conference wins, that's big. It's still early in the season, but those are the kind of things you look back on at the end of a successful run and say that got us going. It is, and and that puts us to four and zero with the two two games earlier before Christmas. So we've got it. You know, yesterday we had a had a big clash mm -hmm. with Defiance and the two teams that that were four zero in the conference. So uh, it's it's a lot of fun once you get into the thick of it. Uh, you need to make sure you take care of the home games and then and then go on the road and and play well. All right, uh, we've still got a lot to go here on Transylvania basketball with Brian Lane. When we come back, we'll take a look at the standings and something that Brian coaches very well but didn't play particularly well. That's defense. That's, That's our story. tip of the week. Uh, we're coming back with more right after this.